Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Oh, that one is my favorite. Oh, great! <laughs> so this image... Oh, sorry, I moved that. How dare you move in your own oh. house? Listen, it's it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Look, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this image is very similar to the first image in the sense that you have, again, the field, which is basically the, the black with the white dots, creating that grid. I think the orientation of the grid in the previous one was like vertical and horizontal, whereas this one seems to be kind of rotated 90 degrees. So it's maybe I'm just kind of imagining things. But 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. You're a pain in the ass. I like it. It's good. <laughs> I, uh, no, it's great. In it's Farsi, great. I am more. But how do you say? How do you say in Farsi? You're a pain in the ass in Farsi. <laughs> say it to me. See, because I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> say, say, Rand, you're a pain in the ass. No, I can't. Say. Come on, in Farsi. We are very polite. We don't. Yalla, say that. come on, do it, please. <laughs> That's Arabic. I know, but it's alright. That's all I know. That's all I know. How do you, how do you say? You're such an idiot in Farsi. <laughs> خیلی احمقی اهلی احمری خیلی خیلی احمق احمر احمق 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 خیلی احمقی Does that mean donkey? احمق yeah. No, the person doesn't have I don't know احمق is Arabic actually yeah, yeah, sorry. Ah. I don't know it احمق is without thought Okay, without thought Yes you are, you're... My parents are from Morocco Oh Oh, but nice. um, and then they'd call me Yahmar, which means Ahmar no, no, no Ahmak. But, no, but I'm saying in Arabic, Yahmar is you, you, you idiot, yeah. which means you, it's like you donkey. Oh, okay. So it's slightly it's not okay. the same. But in the, enough about that. In the image, um, <laughs> is the okay. So what it is is uh, again, this is you. Yes. Okay. So there's a similar to the first image. There's a there's the, the illustration of of a face. The face is looked on instead of face on, it's at a 45 degree angle. Uh, large eyes, red lipstick, no sticking out the tongue, uh, just looking at the viewer and cut off at the shoulders, whereas before it was just the neck, whereas now you can see the neck and the shoulders and it's on a kind of a cream coffee background with illustrations of it looks like a a, like a cherub or something on the left or some weird boy thing holding something up and then behind i guess now i would guess i'd hazard a guess bushes that are made out of cancer cells i don't know and then there's uh uh no there are bushes, there are bushes. <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking my balls okay and then on the right on the right, uh, we've got oh, this, an older figure in a tutu holding his, what, what looks like look an older figure in a tutu yeah. uh, kind of standing there. And then behind, it's like a road or a path with what looks like could be planetary things or circles that go off into a kind of horizon. But at the point where the horizon would be is this flying star-like thing. Yes. This is, you said, your favorite, or one of your favorites. Yes. Okay, so how old is this particular piece? Yeah, I just, I, the reason I said I had... Take a moment, an extremely expensive <coughs> yacht is coming, is passing us by. Okay. Jeez Louise, this yacht yeah, is insane. Yeah, I know. We just get the, get the, we just get the wave. Right. When then, you sleep, does it wake you up? No, actually, that is good. This is like... Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something the listeners cannot possibly understand. So what are you doing right now? I am <clears throat> trying to find out when I start, when I did that work. Okay. I just wanted to show you the size of the oh, okay, 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 okay. That is my daughter is working on that piece. Okay. Will so help me to... Oh, that's great. So, yes, yeah, so the size of the... Of the illustration i i did not realize it was so big like it looks like it's about a good meter and a half by wide yeah right yeah it is one meter by one meter one meter by one meter okay, okay. Yeah. yeah yeah very it cool it is 
Oh, and so this is in pen that you work? Or yes, pen? Okay. pen on archival paper, okay. 200 gram archival paper. Okay. And the origin, I mean, it is black and white. I yeah. didn't add any color. Oh, okay, okay. And, um, and it's digitized for this yes. image? Okay, got I, it. I did it because I wanted, I put it as NFT. It is why I did it. Ah, that. okay, okay. So, okay, wait. First of all, let's stop this because it's distracting me a little bit. But, okay, so this is a digital image. Yes. That. Yes. Okay. I, so I, now talk to me about, I didn't know this was where the conversation was going to go. So now we're going to dive into the world of NFTs. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you're the, it's you who did it, not me. <laughs> so so to, do tell, explain what's going on. Okay, just I, I am Googling uh, the name in English. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. Yeah, it was right. Okay. It, this is when it was Comet. Uh, the Comet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. was the same time of, it was two, three years ago. Okay, okay. So uh, that's what at the top of the, of the, yes. of the image. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. And then also it was a protest in Iran the same time and government killed a lot of protesters. and. Wow. And uh, and that was the f I again took took a photo of myself uh, yeah. with the shocking expression, mm. looking at the camera, and that was the same time. And mm. I use as a reference or the image. And I actually I didn't draw with pencil. I think I started everything like that. And then uh, for me is the composition in all of my work, if you look, even the abstract one, the composition is very important for me to how to center things. Sure. I mean, yeah. not center, I mean, arrange things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the trees and the figures on background, they are from uh, Shahname. Okay. And the great book, Shahname. And then it is... By Ferdosi, I don't know if you know Ferdosi. Again, assume I'm an idiot. No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> you know not. anything. But uh, anyway, these are the characters of that uh, book, and that is Rostam. But I I put a skirt on her him and mm -hmm. uh, make him feminine. Feminine, yeah. Yeah, feminine, and and that is the white giant okay. or white thief. Um, on the left, yeah. So that is the whole story behind this piece. And also I use the pattern again if if you yeah, see the, all the, the pattern yeah, yeah. The pattern are the similar in most of my work. My my hair was longer yeah. that time. And these are again the uh, cancer cells. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's what I'm looking at at the moment. Now, do you feel that you can't escape the need to use the art as as a, as a reflection of, of who you are and what you think about and what you care about and, and where you're expressing yourself? So do you feel like you, you it's too hard to escape the fact that coming from Iran, you're inevitably going to hit this wall where part of who you are is protesting this state of affairs, this reality that you left. And now you can look back on from afar. Can you free yourself from that? And the fact that you made it as into an NFT, what does that... What does that say <clears throat> about the artwork? What does that say about your process, about your your desires? Like, how how do you explain all of this to another person to understand how you're motivated? Um, A very complicated question. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. Answer yeah. whatever you want. Uh, I think you need to <clears throat> make it to three questions. <laughs> it wasn't one question. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, about uh, actually when I was in Iran, I had I had an amazing life. It wasn't that bad, uh -huh. you know. I have to say, and it, I had my family, friends around me, 
I could create art. Uh, I had a comfortable life there. And But when I left Iran, I mean, the community was nice. I was with them, uh, which I miss it every second of it And since I left Iran. And it is not about uh, living a bad uh, condition. I was there, no. I had a great time there. And I, I wish I could have stayed there. And nobody wants to move their motherland for for... I mean, even in, in the worst condition, you are always thinking about, oh, is the my land? Mm. It is my country, mm. and it is. You miss it okay. every second of it, you know. Right. And uh, especially living in Iran, people they we we used to go party, we used to see each other, cousins, and uncles. I mean, every week, right. and it was and. And a lot of information, also friends, a lot of information, you know, change, exchange, and, and it was life. It was, yeah. it was live, you know. But, uh, go, coming out of Iran was hard for me come, because I didn't have that community. I didn't have any friend. I didn't right. have, I didn't know anybody. I didn't speak English mm. when I left Iran. I, oh, wow. Yeah, I because in Iran we don't study English. Well, why would you need to? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then, then uh, that was very hard, and also the culture was different. People, I mean, in Iran I was very socialized. Yeah. I had a lot of friends, and but out of Iran, especially in Malaysia, it was very hard for me. I left. I lived there four years, and uh, second year I married, and then. It was hard. I didn't have a lot of friends. I had some friends through my child play group, and half of the time I didn't understand. Most of the time, not half of the time, what their conversation is sure. about, and sure. that was very hard for me. And then, then I couldn't create art because I was mother, new right, mother, right, and right. but I started making art because when when my daughter started holding brush yeah um uh, if you can see that painting over there yeah, she okay. she splashed the paint with brush and then i draw on top okay I, and it was how i made art that sure. time uh, when she was very young then when we moved to hong kong also i don't know how long you've been in hong kong but uh, for me it is eight years okay. and it is Recently, I started uh, having a community. I mean, I used to live in that building over there and it took me like three years until I found my first friend there. Right, right. And then, then it was a group of people. Sure. And, and then uh, we met and we became friends. And then that art, um, the only thing I had was art, right. making art. And right. it was how I, why I made art more and more because right. the only thing I could communicate yes, yeah, is yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. with others and I could express myself. I didn't have any friend. I didn't have anybody. Even at work, I, I, it was work and right. I couldn't find friends yeah, like no, that. I understand. The same way I used to yeah. have. So It definitely takes more time when you come to Hong Kong to kind of create that social network or social it is it was horrible actually coming to hong kong yeah. uh, i everybody is so distant yeah. and everybody has their own group you know yeah, yeah, it yeah. is like a seal i mean if you lose your, your the friend you have it takes you forever sure. to find another one right, to right. you I can't no replace friends. i have no idea no friends. No friends. This podcast is my way of making friends. I'm yeah. just joking. No, I, I know you're joking. No friends. No friends. Uh, <laughs> I, okay. You made me cry. No. Oh, friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but okay, let's let's okay, let's also step back a little bit. In that, the the the, the mission of the podcast was just to showcase creative expression, the people who do that as a 
as part of their lives and other things, mm -hmm. uh, but also as a way to inspire other people who may be looking, searching, wanting inspiration to, to kind of make the most out of their lives, right? So, so in your case, you're, you're in this new place, you're not in Malaysia or here, like you're, you don't speak the language, you don't have the network, you use art as a kind of as the release or the valve to kind of create create meaning or to, to support yourself. But what happens if somebody's listening to this is you five years ago or ten years ago? Like what can they learn and take as as inspiration <clears throat> from how you made sense of the world? Uh, one thing is uh just continue work and uh, don't be don't pay attention to to what slow slows you down you okay know? and just just create and create okay. and create and and as a creative person yeah. and so it, for me i mean i start creating as soon as i i could uh, have enough time for creating sure and that, that being said, it is, it was the time my daughter started going full time to school. And at the same time, I started going to work full time. But I, I would come back from work and I start creating. And then that was the time I start like being, creating every day. Right. Like, a, like having a studio, right. being in a studio. And then, but the only thing I have to say, just by creating, you can uh, you can feel the gap or the sp the the vacant space for for a creator just okay. by creating. Okay. And you can wait. You can. You can wait for people to to find you at that time okay. wouldn't happen <laughs> right. maybe happen for some people they are lucky or they have a good uh, oh my <laughs> <laughs> a, a helicopter a boat it's all good it's all good <laughs> it's not that that's it's loud it's great no, I love it no, you don't notice it until you, have, you, you pay attention to it and then you realize oh jeez that's interesting okay <laughs> okay uh, you can't wait. I, I didn't wait and I can't wait because I didn't have... Um, most of the artists have the same problem as me and they they uh, there isn't space or there isn't any gallery, especially emerge artists like me. <laughs> oh my God. That awesome. is that's like a it's terminal. Don't worry, no, it's good. <laughs> Boston, this is home. Boston. This is home. Yeah. Uh, okay, so say that sentence once again. Yeah, that, I forgot what I was saying. It's cool. Just, We're just talking. Just you can you can't wait for people to to find you. I mean, maybe you can wait, but you still need to work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And be just original yourself. Don't change. Because because people like collector or gallery they they are interested in some other works. Right. So don't change. Be yourself. Yeah. And, and continue. And speaking of that, about being yourself also may hurt you as a, as an artist. Okay. Because you are. I am one, just one myself, and nobody else is like me. Sure. And it might somebody else as an artist I, I may compare with them myself and they are more successful but yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is it is what it is I mean some people they get in any job yeah. they can get get successful Huge so, success yeah, and then others yeah. others not it doesn't matter they are not good yeah. or the other one are better no it is just how it works yeah. sometimes it yeah. works this way and you can change it and yeah. then that is very depressing for artists yeah but uh, there were times uh, for me I I wanted to quit and don't do any art but that 
after like a couple of days, I said, no, it is not me and yeah. I should do and continue. Well, I think artists feel the need to create. Like it's kind of like a constant, I can't help it. Like I kind yeah, of have to like find a, this. Yeah. Like condemned to, to <laughs> condemn to, to create. To create. Yeah, yeah. That's a, well said, well said. <laughs> Uh, let's let's end it on. Uh, so you see, these hours go by really fast, yeah. right? So, I'm curious to know: is there a time that something happened because of your art that you would never have expected? That just kind of emerged. That something like amazing happened. Um, like, was there ever a result that was connected to your art that you that you say clearly came from my art that? you would have never expected and that was a really uplifting positive moment they were a lot of uplifting positive moment uh, regarding my audience they see my work i mean online or they make a comment and that is very meaningful for me and yeah. it is something like all i want i want is somebody look at my art and say differently and or I make them to think about what is going on in the art, you know. Okay. And and the, about social media, I I am not good at writing and talking about my art. Well, you've done just fine. No, so. I mean in in <laughs> okay, in, okay, in, uh, in uh, like Instagram yeah, or yeah, Twitter yeah. or yeah. Uh, continue a, sure. a conversation about my art. Yeah. Uh, but. The good thing is, uh, thanks to Clubhouse, now I can go and talk about my art sometimes, right. and that that helps. Awesome. And yeah. f- for me, when when people I get a good feedback, I don't care about uh, if I'm selling or not, right? Because uh, obviously I'm not selling, you know, <laughs> that much. I mean, I sell some, but not not like a I live on like an artist. Right. They are. Right. How many one percent of artists in whole world they yeah, are can living live up on? Their art, yeah. yeah, live up the world. I am not like that, but when when I receive good feed, feedbacks from uh, people I care mm-hmm. and their opinion means to me, yeah, that is that is the moment I say, oh, I I I think I did a good yeah thing. For know? me, it's like food. You know, oh. when somebody says. When they, somebody comes to me, either for the podcast or art or anything, and, they, and it connects with them, I find that nourishing. I feel like, I'm like you know, thanks. You know? Yeah. yeah, 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 that is the similar, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Nushin, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. This is great. <laughs> thank you. Merci. It was good. Merci. <laughs> So, is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So, if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.